good y'all man it's your boy jp productions man and welcome back to the channel if you are new definitely feel free to like the video subscribe if you are new comment down below if you have any questions or video suggestions man i'm always open to you know take some suggestions so for today's video man we're going to be talking about pretty much more the mental side of the game of basketball a killer mentality bro how do you develop a killer mentality as a hooper well not everybody can achieve it i'll just start off by saying that a lot of people want that mentality but some people just aren't strong enough to achieve it so what is a killer mentality man a killer mentality is pretty much you know a killer mentality like whenever you get into a game your mindset is to focus and win this game no matter what you're gonna lock up on defense you're gonna pass the ball we need to you're gonna score if somebody starts talking trash to you they're not gonna get under your skin you're not gonna start crying and become like a little baby no Caillou over here dog no babies allowed no babies allowed when it comes to the game of basketball you know what I'm saying you got you got kids in elementary school nowadays talking trash to you you got kids in junior high even high school some of you guys are just pretty much baby bro you guys have been sheltered all your whole life you don't really know what's going on out there you don't know because you've been sheltered which you know it's a great thing that you're being sheltered but then again once you get to the real world to the real courts that's when things begin to change and in order for you to gain that killer mentality you got to be able to go through some type of hardship not only go through it but you know, you get to that door, you open it, and you pass through, and you get to the other side. You see, a lot of hoopers tend to, you know, have a have a struggle where they just struggle, right? And they just can't take it anymore, bro. They're saying, "Man, I'm tired of this. I don't think I can. I don't think I can break through." Meanwhile, breakthrough is just on the other side. They just got to continue to keep on going, bro. You just had to keep on going. Just like, and I wanna, I wanna bring up Lamelo Ball for instance, bro. Lamelo Ball played up his entire life. I think bro was what a eighth grader. Bro was a whole eighth grader and was playing against seniors. You know how many times? I don't know how tall he was, but he wasn't six 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 seven like he is now, right? Just imagine how many times he's got his shot blocked because back then, whenever he was a child, my man's shot was slow. You know what I'm saying? It was slow, very slow. Just imagine how many jump shots he got blocked. Just imagine how many layups, how many times he's gotten ripped, how many times he's got blown by on defense. Then you got other people telling him that, hey, you can't guard me. Like, go back to elementary school, whatever the case is, bro. Just imagine that. Just imagine all those thoughts that LaMelo has had throughout the future, right? And I'm, I'm sure, bro. I'm sure. No, I, Yes, I understand. He had a band of brothers. Shout out to Zoe and Jello. Shout out to them to, you know, give him some more knowledge. Shout out to LeVar as well. You know what I'm saying? For pushing his three boys. LeVar has done a great job. I will say that. When it comes to, you know, training athletes, he's done a great job. You know, you can't take that away from him. All three of his boys have made it to the NBA. And now it's just one which is Jello that just has to just has to get that spot. And guess what? Per 2 days ago, Jello Ball has agreed to be on the the Hornets summer league squad. So what if he gets a contract? That would be very tough. But, you know, he's done a great job so far and, you know, shout out to LeVar for that. But back to the LaMelo story, bro. I'm sure there was many times where LaMelo wanted to quit because it was so tough. Once again, my man's in 8th grade versus seniors, bro. You know how tough that is, bro? You know how... Uh, bro. You want to talk about a breakthrough? You want to talk about... He's, pro he's probably had days and nights of him crying because, like, he just can't do it no more. It's too, it's too hard. Isn't that what we do a lot of the times? Oh, it's too hard. I, I can't do it no more. I'm just going to give up go the other way. Oh, I give up. That's how it is. You know what I'm saying? But shout out to LeVar. But most importantly, shout out to LaMelo for sticking with it. He kept on going. 
due to him um, continuing the route that he was going, he's one of the best players in the world. My man is one of the greatest. All right, let me chill out now. <laughs> I say greatest. He is one of the best point guards in the game, in the NBA right now. He's one of the best point guards. That's yeah, straight facts. Is he better than uh, Lonzo Ball? He did. I feel like he is low key. Lonzo got more of the clamps for sure, but Lamelo Ball, bro, he's gonna be the best ball brother out of the trio. It's just facts, and I'm pretty sure all of you guys can agree with me. But he's only there at that point because he played up some, bro. Playing up a level or levels, that's some tough stuff. And by him doing that, by him breaking through, that gave him that killer mentality. That gave him that mentality of, oh, I could go up against anybody. I've been doing this my whole entire life. Yeah, I may be a ninth grader, but I could, I could go up against a NCAA college athlete if I wanted to. That's what type of time he's on. That's that mentality because he had to grow his way. He had to work his way up. Nobody's born with the killer mentality. Eh. Nobody's born with the killer mentality. They have to, number one, go through something. And if they have to break through, they have to keep going. Because if they give up, just like majority of us people do, we give up once it gets hard. But LaMelo, on the other hand, he has such a dog mentality. He has such a killer mentality because he kept going. When adversity hit, he didn't give up. He just kept on going. So let me ask you this. You want a killer mentality, huh? So what are you doing right now to achieve it? When things get tough, life gets tough, what are you doing? Are you going to keep going or are you going to give up? The choice is yours. You know, whatever you choose, that's all on you, my guy, my girl. So you want to become mentally strong? Then don't give up.